Bits of Geek and Noise. Today, I'm going to show you something that I got for Christmas. You probably saw the thumbnail. But there's two things that I got for Christmas that I didn't show you. Um, one, one of them I lost. It, they were Bengals wristbands with a Bengals logo on them. And they're, they're, they came with two, so like I can use both wrists. But, before I show you, you probably know. Okay, let me try and place the camera. So if you see my fingers, because it's hard to place a camera. Especially when it's facing that. Okay, there we go, guys. Look at this, I got a drum set! It doesn't work right now, but I will turn it on. So I'm gonna press this button right here. It's on, right here on the screen. And then I have to come around here. And then it's like a switch, back here. I can't feel it. Okay, I'm gonna go around. And there. Okay, so like, it might be a little loud because there's a, there, you guys are right now on a speaker. Let me turn it down. the drum sounds are or what, what what it is this one over here this is called the hi-hat it can make this sound but there's a pedal down here that I can put my foot on you hear that sound and like I'm putting my foot foot on the pedal and then it'll make this sound see when I do that so this is called the hi-hat I like it when it sounds like this quarter needner in the background just so you know there's all around somewhere but anyway um, this one is the crash symbol. Yeah, that's the crash symbol. And then over here, this this one over here, this one is called um. Oh my goodness, what's it called? I think it's called crash symbol. It's like it's a like. I think it's called crash symbol, but um. It's I know it's something else. I forget what it is. Um. I feel like it is a crash symbol though. But I forget, so I'm gonna look back here. And, uh, oh yeah, it's called the ride symbol. That's what it's called. Oops, moved the camera. But yeah, this this one right here, that's the ride symbol. And then this one right here, that one is called the high tom. And then this one right here, this one's called the middle tom. Then this one right here, that one's called the floor tom. And guys, these are electronic drums, so just so you know. And this one right here, this one's my favorite. It's called the snare drum. Then this, um, the pedal right here, this one as well down here, that I'm like doing, I like I'm pushing my foot on it. That that one's called the bass. So yeah. And then I have some notes right here. So this is a um, solo nine that I'm doing. They're like they're drum notes. And so I'm gonna do the solo nine one. Then I'll go to solo one, which is a pretty hard one. I'll do three things on these drums. Okay, here we go. Two. Um, so like all it is is the snare right here. That's all that one is. And then this one back here, I'll do this one last because I really like it. It's the easiest one in my opinion. Well, besides besides the one I just did. But before we get to that one, I'm gonna show you a thing that like it has this in it. This is probably the easiest beat on a drum. It is. It's like a piece of cake once you learn it. Sometimes it, um... You hear that sound down there? Most, I'm trying to keep the pedal closer so I can put my foot on it harder. Okay, but anyway, that is that. So I'm going to do, like, I'm going to play that beat. Um... 
Yeah, so I'm gonna play that beat, and then I'm gonna like go like one, two, three, wait, one and two and three and four, and then I'm gonna play the beat again, or anything like that, and then I'm gonna go like triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Then I'm gonna play the beat again, then I'm gonna go one and a two and a three and a four. And a so it's really easy. Maybe I should do a drum lessons video sometime. Let me do a few, but yeah. So we're gonna do that real quick. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. I like to use this symbol as the end. It's really cool, but let's do it. let's do that fast. What? Oh, dang it! I missed that. That was like actually, I was surprised when I did that. Um, but yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna play the solo one, which is a really I'm gonna do the full page, and it's a it's a full of bunch of notes. But if you're a drummer and you want to learn how to play the drums, maybe let me know if you like this video. If you want me to do drum lessons videos sometime, I will do that. I will I will be up for the challenge. And here we go. So I'm gonna read what this is. So I'm gonna actually no, it's fine. Yeah, that was this whole page of solo one it takes a little bit to practice but yeah um so yeah like the video or anything let me let me know if you want to learn how to play the drums like what i just did i can teach you how to play this thing i just did the first thing i did the beat and then like one and and then two and three and four and then triple it triple it or one and a two and but i so like i'll take it one by one like step by step what i learned so it's like a I'm not just gonna like teach you this right off the bat like hey do this like what do what I do But yeah, hopefully you can take it easy if you guys want me to do drum lessons like the video if you want me to do drum lessons and Yeah, so yeah, these are my drums Okay, let's play every sound there's Porter on the hoverboard noise hoverboard, so I'm gonna play every sound so, Yeah, so when I played this sound this is actually the same thing. Wait. It's actually the same thing. But yeah, so these are my drums. I'm gonna put my drumsticks right in there. But yeah, so yeah, those are my drum, drum, that's my drum set. Did I say those are my drumsticks? But yeah, I meant, that's my drum set right there. It's awesome, and then the notes are probably backwards. I'll have to show you the notes in like a drum lessons video. But if you can, if they're not backwards, that's surprising. I don't know if they're backwards or not because this is recording. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Bye. I'll see you guys in the Bye.